In this video, we're going to look at how to solve number pyramids using a system that gets us to the answer straight away. So in this number pyramid, we have three numbers on the bottom row and the number at the top, but we're missing one of the numbers in the bottom. So we can do some addition. We could do four plus two to get six, but then we can't do anything to get these cells at the moment unless we guess. This is a system that means we don't have to guess. So the number we need to know here, I'm going to call it my missing number. And I'm just going to write in there, missing number for now. OK, I might get a bit lazy later on and not bother writing the whole thing. So let's look at the next row up. Four plus two makes six. Two plus my missing number. Well, I can't work that out, but I know it will be my missing number. And I'm just going to write missing there, plus two. And my missing number plus five is going to be my missing plus five. Right, the next row up. Six plus my missing number plus two. Well, six plus two makes eight. And my missing number as well means it's my missing number plus six plus two, which makes plus eight. This one here, I've got my missing number plus two plus my missing number plus five. So that's my missing plus another one of my missing numbers, and then plus two plus five makes plus seven. And finally for the top, well I haven't got room to write in at the top, so I'm going to write into the side here. I've got my missing number, plus eight, plus my missing number again, and my missing number again, and then plus seven. So where has that come from? Missing number plus eight plus my missing number plus my missing number plus seven. All I've done is added up everything in these two boxes to get this box. And I know that this box is 71, so this must make 71. So this is the first stage of our solution. This is stage one of our solution. It's building up this equation here, this rule here that's going to work. We can tidy that up a bit um, because I've got missing number plus missing number plus missing number. Well, that's three lots of my missing number. And I've got eight plus seven. Well, that makes 15. And we know that that has to equal 71 because this is our top number. And we know that our top number is 71. So that's stage one of the process, getting this equation. Okay. This now looks like an I think of a number problem. And if we wrote it as an I think of a number problem, it would be, I think of a number, I'm being lazy and just writing the first letters there, I think of a number, multiply by three. This is my missing number. I multiply by three, add 15, and the answer is 71. So this is now an I think of a number problem. And so we're going to solve it using the technique we learned with, I think, of a number problems. So I think of a number, which is my missing number. I don't know what it is, but it's my missing number. What do I do? I multiply it by 3. Then I add 15. And my answer is 71. To solve this, I need to go backwards. And instead of adding 15... I'm going to subtract 15. Instead of multiplying by 3, I'm going to divide by 3. And that's going to give me my answer. So, 71. 71 minus 15. I'm just going to change colour here. 71 minus 15. Well, take your calculator out to do that if you need to. Um, you should get 56. Okay? Divide by 3. We now need to do 56 divided by 3. And you might well need a calculator for this. And you get 18.6 recurring. Remember, when it's recurring, you write the little dot above the 6. There's no need to write any more than the 1, 6. You get 18.6666. You get a 7 at the end of your calculator screen. It's because the calculator knows that there's another 6 after that. So it's rounded your answer up. But it's 18.6 recurring. So that is our missing number. Now we could write that as 18 and two thirds. We 
we need to use this number and we need to use it exactly as 18.6 recurring. So you need to use that answer but answer facility on your cup. Okay. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go on to stage three, which is to check that the answer is correct. So in stage two, we've worked out that the missing number we thought was 18.6 recurring. So we're just going to write that in here, 18.6 recurring or 18 and two thirds. If you don't know how to write fractions on your calculator, you can do it using the ABC button um, on the left hand side just above the numbers. So you press 18, ABC 2, ABC 3 and that enters your uh, number as a fraction and it ends up looking on the screen something, uh, I can't remember whether these, which way around these shapes are, but it looks something like that on the screen and that means 18 and 2 thirds. So that allows you to type fractions in on your calculator. Okay, 4 plus 2 is 6, 2 plus 18 is 20, and the 2 thirds we've got there. 18 and 5 is 23, plus the 2 thirds. Let's do the next line. 20 and 2 thirds and 6, 6 and 20 is 26, and our 2 thirds as well. 20 and 23 is 43, so let's just do this over here. 20 plus 2 thirds, 20 and 2 thirds means you add those together, plus 23 plus 2 thirds gives us 43 plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds, and 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds. So that's 43 plus 4 thirds. Well, 4 thirds is three thirds and one third, and three thirds is one. So that's 43 plus one, that's one third, which is 44 and one third. You can do that on your calculator. Uh, I find it easier not to do it, so I wanted you to show me the way that I do it without using a calculator. I don't write all this down, I only do this bit in my head. So if you feel confident doing that, that's absolutely fine. If not, use the calculator, do 20 ABC2 ABC3 plus 23 ABC2 ABC3 and we get 44 and one third. Now if we add those two, 26 plus two thirds plus 44 plus one third, 26 plus 44 makes 70. Let's just write those two down, 26 plus 44 and then two thirds plus one third, and some of you might be getting ahead of me now. 22, sorry, 26 plus 44 is 70, two thirds plus one third is three thirds, and we know that three thirds is one, 70 plus one makes 71, which is the number we wanted at the top. So that's stage three completed. We've checked that our answer works, and we know that we've got the correct missing number at the bottom. So even though the numbers that were given were called whole numbers, the missing number wasn't. Make sure you include that check. If you type this into your calculator as 18.6, you'll get a rounding error and it won't work. You won't end up with the right answer. So be careful to make sure that you type in 18 and two thirds or 18 point lots of sixes and use the idea of recurring numbers.